Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the week of Thanksgiving. So I am two pounds away from being able to say I'm in the 280s. I am not going to let Thanksgiving ruin that for me. Of course, I am going to enjoy Thanksgiving, but I'm going to work really hard this week to make sure I do not gain weight. I'm hoping that I can lose the two pounds that I need to get myself into the 280s. So what I'm going to do for that is this week I'm going to make sure that I work out every single day. Um, probably most of it's going to be with the Wii Fit. I'll probably do some lower exercises so I can show you um, how I do my lower exercises, my lower body exercises. Um, and a few things that I realized I needed to tell you over the weekend is one, I have a free day. It's on Saturday. I think it's really important to have a free day. It just kind of um, breaks you from the monotony of everything and makes it so that you have a day that you can look forward to to eat the things that you want to eat. Um, I mean, don't go crazy. Don't eat like a dozen donuts or anything like that. But but if there's something you've really been wanting all week but you haven't eaten because you're trying really hard to be good, go ahead and have a free day. Um, I have my free day set to where it's always Saturday. It's because my husband's home that day and it just makes it makes it a nice day for me to have a free day. Another thing, I do not count fruits and vegetables in my calories. In my opinion, you should be able to eat whatever fruits and vegetables you want, however many you want. Um, the only vegetable that I would kind of steer away from where not counting calories is concerned are potatoes. Um, I do count potatoes just because they're really starchy. Any other vegetable and fruit, I just, I do not count them as calories. So those are my goals for this week. I'm going to just I'm going to try to be as good as gold this week because I do not want to I do not want to hinder my weight loss. Um, I'm going to be as good as gold this week because I really want to get into the 280s. That would just be so exciting for me. I haven't seen 280s in forever. I haven't seen many of these weights in forever. I haven't been under 300 pounds since my daughter was born two years ago. So this is, this is a really exciting time for me, and I'm so glad you're doing it with me. Hey guys, so I am sorry I haven't done a whole lot of recording today. It's been a pretty busy day, um, partly because work is a lot busier for me this week. Um, I don't think I've told you what I do, but I'm a dog groomer, and the week before a big holiday like Thanksgiving or Christmas, super, super busy because everybody wants to get their pets in so they can look nice and pretty for the holidays. Um, so yeah, this week I'm going to be working Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, so I'm not going to have as much time to do recording. Um, we we just got our kids to bed though. Um, today's been today's been good. Um, I went to work. I came home, had one of my favorite snacks in the world. It's an an apple with cheddar cheese slices. So basically, you just slice up your apple and slice up some cheese and just eat them together and it is it is so good. It is one of my all time favorite snacks. If you have never tried it, I highly recommend trying it. Um, let's see, what else did we do? We ran some errands. Um, oh, my sister my sister made dinner for us tonight and she she made a um, a sausage Alfredo and it was it was delicious and she is on her own weight loss journey right now and she um, is being mindful of what ingredients she's using and she used a high fiber pasta and it was delicious. I couldn't even tell that it wasn't just a regular pasta. I'll ask her what kind of pasta it was and eventually I'll try to tell you what she used because I'm definitely going to use it again. Um, and then my husband and, and I took our kids out to the store. We had to buy some paint so we went to Lowe's and it's actually a pretty funny story why we had to buy paint um, on Saturday, we painted the wall in our living room, and uh, a friend of ours suggested that we try using a paint sprayer because it would make it go so much faster. My husband has never used a paint sprayer before, and he was being very, very meticulous, 
to make sure he followed all of the instructions. Apparently he missed a step and when he turned on the paint sprayer machine the hose popped off and blew paint everywhere. Completely everywhere. It was just all across the floor into the dining room and all over his pants and all over the dog. And the funniest part about it is my, I, I have a very good husband and about just about five minutes before he was he was working on it and I was like aren't you gonna lay the plastic down first and he was just like why and I was like in case something goes wrong and he listened to me and so he put the plastic down and had he not our carpet would have been destroyed it would have been absolutely ruined had he not put the plastic down so I was really happy that he listened to me and put the plastic down. Um, so yeah, but that and that also meant that I ended up having to take my dog in to work with me today to scrub all of the paint off of her. It was covering her entire side. It was all over her feet, her face, her ears. It was just, it was crazy. And so we needed to buy more paint because the paint sprayer probably wasn't our favorite thing. Just it used a lot more paint than we were expecting to use and so we ran out of paint and weren't quite finished with our wall so we had to go buy some more paint but I just thought that was a funny story and I wanted to share it with you um, so so yeah we went to Lowe's to get paint we went to Walmart to pick up a few things um, I did work out today I used my Wii Fit this morning and I worked out for 20 minutes and um, and it was it was really good. I, I haven't done it in quite a while and so it was I wasn't as good as I used to be. Um but but yeah, it was fun and it felt really good to get up and get some exercising done first thing in the morning. And my husband and I right now we're getting ready to do some Wii Sports Resort, so I'm gonna get a little bit more exercise in playing the Wii with him, just having a little bit of fun. So yeah, there was one thing that I uh, I wanted to share with you that I heard at church on Sunday, We, one of the speakers made a comment and he said, don't look at your day as being a challenge, look at it as being filled with challenging opportunities. And I really liked that because so many times you can have a pessimistic outlook and just be like, oh, it is so hard. But instead, it's really, it's really a good thing to just be like, this is going to be difficult for me, but I accept this challenge and I can do this. I think that is such an inspirational way to think about going about your life. Everything you do is a choice. Every The way you react to things, the way you deal with things, it's a choice. And if you choose to challenge, choose to accept the challenges of your day as an opportunity to grow, I think everybody would be a lot happier everybody grows when they overcome their their challenges and their trials and with me it's my weight I it, it is a struggle for me it is a challenge but I have accepted this challenge and I am excited about it now because I'm like no my weight can't beat me and it's exciting now so just remember that every day is full of challenging opportunities and just try to try to keep that in mind as you're going through this. So yeah, I'm just going to end the vlog here today. It's probably going to be similar tomorrow. I might try to record a little more if I can. But this week is this week at least until Wednesday is probably going to be some shorter vlogs like this without much interaction with anyone but me. Yay. <laughs> so so yeah, I hope you're enjoying your day and I hope you're doing well and I hope you are accepting the challenges that are being put in front of you right now. And I will see you in the next video. Pretty, pretty, pretty.